Well guys, welcome back to the beautiful world of Tekkit. Uh, we're in the same place we left off last time, and now we're going to go forth onto the production of all of the glorious things we will be needing. We will be using tons and tons of red matter and dark matter. So the question is, how does one become filthy rich in terms of red matter? and dark matter. And the answer is quite simple. Now you'll remember from early on in the world switch, which was just a couple of episodes, we made what were called energy collectors. There you go. Basically we're going to have to make a lot more of these. So there's several levels to them, so if I just type in collector, there's collector, collector mark one, which is an energy collector surrounded by glowstone and all that good stuff and collector mark two so you need dark matter for this one red matter for this one and so on so aside from these collectors we're going to need relays and it's the same thing relay mark one relay mark two relay mark three so kind of, sort of, complex stuff. Well, not really. It's just kind of tedious to go through all of the recipes. So the first thing we're going to do is get a dark matter relay. So actually we're going to make both of these things together. I'm going to grab all of the resources I'm going to need and then I'll get back to you again. Okay, hello. I have gathered together all of the materials I'm going to be needing. So we'll start by making um, a Mark I energy collector. So I actually just lied, I don't have a furnace. So let me just, oh look at that, he's here. Uh, yeah, okay, so what we need to do is make a furnace. And now, we're going to need two diamond blocks, so we'll just go ahead and make two of them. And actually what I'm going to do, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to throw one of these in here, close it, open it again, take it back out. Okay. So, diamond block, piece of glass, furnace, and glowstone. And there's our energy collector. And we also need the relay. So similar recipe except all obsidian, diamond block, piece of glass. And there's our antimatter relay. Now open up the tablet, teach them to it, close it, open it again, and pull them back out like we normally do. Now the next thing we're going to do is upgrade them to the Mark II. So for the relay, I just throw it down, surround it with obsidian, put a piece of dark matter there, and there is the relay Mark II. And now we're going to finally upgrade it to the Mark III. Now the first thing, we have a bunch of EMC left in here from when we were teaching it diamonds and all that stuff, so we actually have enough EMC to pull one more red matter blob out of here. So now that we've done that, we can open, oh, before we get rid of this, we want to teach it to the table, pull it back out, there we go. And now, using red matter, we will upgrade it to the Mark III. And the levels Mark I, Mark II, Mark III is just how fast and how much energy they're going to take in and give eventually to an energy or an energy condenser like that. Okay, so now we want to do the same to the energy collector, piece of dark matter, or pff, not surround it with obsidian, surround it with glowstone. There's the Mark II, open the tablet, throw it in, close it, open it, pull it out. And now we're just going to go to the tablet and throw in a couple of these dark matters so that we have enough EMC to get a red matter back. Open this up, throw the red matter up top, 
make a U out of glowstone, and I need to double check. Did we teach the mark? I don't think we taught the mark to collector. Let me just better safe than sorry. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Throw the collector in, U of glowstone, and piece of red matter. There we go. Now we're actually going to need another energy condenser. I don't know, do I have a spare lying around? I don't. I'll just have to make one. Let's see here, I'm going to need one of every covalent dust. And so we go... Hmm. <laughs> It's been so long since I've made an energy collector. One second. Energy condenser. There we are. Wow, I'm doing this all wrong. It's diamonds and obsidian. The covalence dust is what you need to make an alchemical chest. Oh, I always mix up these four formations. It's always terrible. Okay, there we go. Now we have an energy condenser. As always, teach the energy condenser to the tablet. Pull it back out. Standard stuff by this point. Okay, we're also going to need glowstone, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go up top here, and these energy collectors are kind of like alchemical solar panels, I guess you could say. They take in light from glowstone and spit it out as EMC, thus giving you, you know, infinite junk, basically. So I'll just come up here. We want to throw down the collector, uh, the relay, and then on top of all of that, we're going to throw down the, uh, here we go, there we go, the energy condenser. Now this relay will spit EMC in here, so if I say put a piece of dark matter in here, you can see this is slowly going up, which is quite nice, and I just realized I never finished uh, lighting up all of these fl what the heck? I'm sorry Mario, the princess is whoever put that there was genius, I applaud you. I applaud you very much. Okay, so like I said, there we go, so that's going to build up EMC. You can see it's working so fast that it's already produced another. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to all that dark matter I've been producing and I'm going to um, throw it into this portable tablet I have and I'm going to turn it into more energy collectors and more relays and all that good stuff. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm in the process of all that wonderfulness. Okay, you can see I turned dark matter into a bunch of relays and collectors. And so now what I'm going to do is set up a couple of workstations up here. So this first one here is going to be, oops, if I just get this all hooked on correctly. So you can see this is going up quite fast. Uh -huh. We actually need some good old glowstone. I should probably teach glowstone to the transmutation tablet really quickly. Or not. It won't, it's not going to learn glowstone, I guess. Which just means I'm going to have to go here and produce it really quickly. Working quite fast. That'll be fine for now. Plop this back in here. And so I want to surround these with glowstone so that they're getting plenty of light. Okay, wait. I think... Uh, let me pause for a second. I think I'm doing this formation wrong. Okay, guys, I'm back. And now I'm going to get this correct. So we're going to put a relay on either side, like so, 
and on and on top and we put this two blocks off the floor so we can get to it later so now what we're going to do is put one relay up here Ooh, this is a uh, mark two not a mark one I'll just throw this into the tablet it's odd I don't know how that happened anyway so we'll just throw energy collector energy collector energy collector energy collector energy collector and now throw glowstone on top of these little black things to ensure they are always collecting and jump down here and you can check these guys and see all of the energy they're putting up so if I pop a little dark matter in there you'll see that it's going up quite nicely and we'll just continue one there one there one there one there one there one there Ooh, lots and lots of these guys go into making a fully functioning EMC production machine so you're basically making uh, I think this is called the flower design is what this is a, oh, a lot a lot of EMC goes into making this but you know a lot of EMC is worth infinite EMC in my opinion so if you pop this up you'll see it's shooting up at ridiculously high speeds does that say mark 2? that's a mark 2 oh I've been calling them Mark 3's this whole time. Are they actually? That's a Mark 3. Oh. Oh. I feel like a derp. I made a bunch of energy collector Mark 2's, not a bunch of energy collector Mark... Okay. Well, this whole thing is flawed, and I have to tear it down and turn all of these into Mark 3's, so I'm going to be back after I fix my mistake. Okay guys, I have fixed my derp and I've replaced everything with the right level. And now, what I'm going to do is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to put this here, but then you'll notice that I have no way to get to the uh, condenser in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I want to dig out all of these, go down there and collect them like so boop okay and yep I can see it from down here so now what I'm going to do pillar up throw one down and I'm going to grab my good old friend the golden saw or not the golden the diamond saw and cut these guys into tiny tiny chunks so there there oh oh by messing this all up okay there we go and there okay so now what I can do with these is make a tiny 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 little lip like so that I am going to be able to walk on. So if I pop up here, you can see that I can now pop down here and open this up. And you can see how fast this is going. It's like crazy wicked fast with the production of dark matter. So I'm just going to kind of fill out the glowstone here although I don't think it matters did putting that on make it go any faster let's see uh, kinda looks like it helped I'll just kinda throw a couple more of these down just in case and that should be fine so there we go we're producing dark matter 
at mad rates. So I'm just going to pop out of this and go over to the production facility over here. Pop down to the lower level. And if we walk over here, I have a lower level one set up that I was using to produce um, diamonds and that type of junk. Um, right now it's producing some dark matter. But basically, I'm going to tear this down and move it over there and convert it into a red matter one. So, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to actually call it an episode here, and next time we come back I'll have another one of those flower condenser things set up for the production of red matter. And then we'll have red matter and dark matter beyond our wildest dreams and we will go with alchemy from there.